Greetings everyone, this is Rock and Roll Spot Connection with the Billy Come Up Rock. We're on the last leg here. Um, we've got the last few books of the week. We'll kick things off with Ultimate Black Panther number six. So, um, Black Panther has managed to uh, recruit allies in the form of uh, Storm and Eric Killmonger. And has learned uh, learned a little bit about uh, the source of of uh, both Ra and Conchu's power. They are masquerading as gods, not the actual gods. And so the issue begins in West Africa. The doctor is uh, seeing a child at that tells the child's parents that they're that the child is well not gonna not gonna live. Um, Kachu shows up, states that he can he, uh, he can uh, heal the child, and asks if uh, the parents as well as the doctor will awaken. the salvation that is to come. And so, Khonshu is basically recruiting his... That's how Khonshu recruits his army. Um, but T'Challa states that... Uh, the source of uh, Ra and Khonshu's power is a... Uh, is a mysterious element that not even T'Challa understands. But he's able to uh, reshape the earth, heal the sick, and uh, it seems that uh, Killmonger is having something of an influence on him. But Shuri, it turns out, does not trust either Killmonger or Storm. Killmonger and Storm are enjoying the fact that they are, they, for the moment, they are comfortable. Though Killmonger uh, is worried about becoming too comfortable. The Storm points out that uh, they both earned a bed that isn't grass, food they don't have to kill, and nights where they can both close their eyes. Ra and Khonshu, uh, the new temple of, at the New Temple of Ra, are uh, debating what to do about uh, Wakanda, though uh, Ra points out that uh, They'll simply negotiate. They'll try to negotiate. Turns out, though, that uh, what Raw and Country seek are both different. Conchu seeks paradise, while Ra seeks power. But uh, Ra attacks a uh, a mineral refinery uh, in West Africa with uh, suicide bombers. But uh, a bear of a fourth shield is put up between uh, the refinery and the and uh, the suicide bombers by Black Panther. Black Panther basically tells everyone to get out um, and uh, says that it's quite likely that uh, they are not 
good. They're not innocent. They are definitely not innocents. But the refinery is destroyed by uh, Khonshu. Black Panther and Khonshu uh, duke it out. And so, because of their fight, Khonshu states that, uh, it's, that he supposes that uh, there will be war between the forces of uh, Khonshu and his brother and Black Panther. And that is where the issue ends. This book's been getting interesting. Um, one thing I, I want to—I definitely want, want to point out with the uh, Ultimates books, the new crop of Ultimates books so far is the, that they are transpiring in real time. You don't have a, a six-issue storyline that takes place over the course of like three days. You've got an issue, one issue a month, and that's what—that is basically what happens in that month. But uh, anyway, moving on to our next book, and our last Marvel book for the week, we've got Star Wars Darth Vader, number 48. Luke Skywalker has uh, received a message from a grifter known as Warba about something that he would be interested in. Uh, upon meeting with her, though, he was confronted by Sabe, who wished to see uh, Vader's, er, uh, Luke's connection to the Force. She does show, so... She fires a few blaster bolts at him, and, uh, however, it, does, it seems that, uh, what she's trying to do is, uh, figure out if, uh, Luke's a, if Luke is, uh, potentially a Sith, meaning, you know, potentially, you know, could he be tempted by... Vader's offer. But uh, Vader senses, is sensing this. And uh, a as this is going on, the, uh, the Markor get their uh, revenge on Vader. Um, And, uh, well, Luke doesn't appreciate hit the testing by, uh, Sabe. Does, he does lash out to, uh, just destroy her blaster. But, um, as Vader destroys the, uh, Mark Wars, uh, ship, Luke senses the, his use of the Force... But, uh, and that calms, that gets Luke to kind of step back, and he does accuse uh, Sabe of being sent, sent to find him on Vader's behalf, though she points out that he, she knows that Vader's looking for him, and so is the Emperor. But she also points out that if they find him, and they, they sense Luke's hate, he will become one of them. And they're all, they're all lost. But uh, Luke po points out, you know, says, so it's just like that. You know, we gotta be, we gotta be perfect, or we're all doomed. And that there has to be a little bit of wiggle room. But uh, she she recollects it. She points out that. Vader told her that hate leads to suffering or power, and he told her to choose. Apparently she told him she couldn't choose, because she doesn't hate, but she doesn't think that's true. She thinks she chose suffering, but he came to kill Luke if he saw a glimmer of the Sith in, her, in his eyes. But he points out that uh, he's not perfect and he's not his father. And Sabe states that maybe he's more like his mother.
but uh, apparently Vader wanted uh, Warba to let to let him know if uh, she found Luke, but she didn't. However, Luke takes the transponder that would uh, give away his location and activates it. Vader uh, is informed that they have Skywalker's location, but uh, he decides to forego pursuit, telling uh, Sly Moore that uh, when she points out that the Vader, that the Emperor wants Skywalker, and if they kill Skywalker, they, de they destroy the Emperor's various plans. However. Vader points out that Skywalker is not ready, but uh, the rest of the schism Imperial relieve him of his uh, Kyber weapons, that, also inject him with a uh, a droid brain that uh, takes control of uh, Vader's physical body. His technology, the same. The same thing he used against the Mark War. Of course, so uh, Vader commands the Force. So, uh, more does not imagine that it will take it last as long as it did against them. But it should uh, give his Kingdom Imperial up enough time to relieve him of his Kyber weapons and power them with uh, Tantaza's energy capsules. But, uh, she points out the role of two, the Master and Apprentice, like the Emperor and Vader, or the Emperor and Skywalker, or Vader and Skywalker. But they remove Vader and Skywalker, who else remains? She will become the second Sith, ruling at the Emperor's side, and the Sith Imperial will become the Empire itself. Vader regains control of his faculties and uh, gives a rather decisive blow against the uh, attack against the uh, Schism Imperial. However, the Markor, who were controlling their ship via remote, have arrived to get their revenge on Lord Vader. That is where the issue ends. Things, things are ramping up. Uh, we're, we got two more issues after this one before the, the conclusion of the, mini, of the series. Or, we'll find out, basically, and then the Emperor, the Emperor and Vader will encounter Luke Skywalker, and it doesn't exactly end well for either of them, especially the Emperor. Though. Moving on, though, to our last book for the week, we've got Something Is Killing the Children, number 39. Um, continuing in the, uh, I think this is set more in the period before uh, the events of the first, uh, first story arc. But... Um, in this issue, uh, Erica goes to a therapist. She's crying, and she wants to. St she's basically showing emotion and wants to stop. But uh, she starts to say that this is a bad idea. She's Initially, be this is a bad idea, but uh, she talks very vaguely about the deaths of her parents, um, and also uh, apparently the uh, crying started fairly recently. Um, there's 
It's about uh, almost a year to the, to the day when uh, Jessica died. But he, she, she ins insists that she, you know, that turning off her emotions is uh, it's helpful to her. But uh, the therapist tells her, "Hey, you know, it's not really all that. It's not that good of a thing to do." It's gonna it's gonna mess you up in the long term. The therapist says sort of that um, everybody gets kids backwards. They think that kids are all balls of emotion, and sure, kids have lots of emotions. But for the most part, they're still figuring out how the world works. They like logic. They want to know why things are happening. So he likes to ask, ask the question, what is the practical use of being sad? Like, the utility to, of it to us as humans. Why are we evolved to be sad when, when we lose someone in our life? Someone important. Someone who shapes who, shapes who we are. It's to make sure we remember. Sadness is a tool our brain uses to take all, all the memories that we love the most or hate the most to make sure they're never forgotten. Not out of sentimentality or nostalgia, it's so we re remember what was important, so that we can see it in the world when it comes around again. And so we remember that what hurt, so we don't go get hurt again, or hurt anybody else like we were hurt. But uh, with that, uh, Erica leaves, but um, she points, she states that, uh, you know, well, the therapist states that they can talk again if, if uh, Erica wants. This time, this time work, work for me, or for him, if she can come back next Tuesday. But she points out she'll be far away from there next Tuesday, and she should hope that she doesn't ever have to ever come back to this town. But... Also adds, there's a girl a mile away, a mile away from from there on Hope Street, just just off Main. She's 14 years old. She lost her little brother, and she thinks that it'd be nice if uh, the therapist told her what she told what he told her or what he told Eric. And he she gives her a wad of, she gives her a wad of cash, and it says that this should cover a few sessions, and tell the girl that Eric is sorry. He offers her business card, but uh, adding that uh, he can call her if she if she needs to text whatever works. But she says she won't. Erica takes it though after the, after the therapist insists, and uh, that's where the issue ends. This arc has been uh, interesting. It's an interesting peek into uh, Erica's life aside from killing monsters. Um, eventually, I think we're, we're, there's supposed to be a zero issue, which is going to uh, cover what happened before the first arc, like immediately before it. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, uh, Blue Sky, Instagram, Mastodon, Patreon, and PayPal will be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying live long and rock hard.